that's working uh, in the tunnel that I believe uh, can uh, pump out about 250,000 gallons of water uh, out of that tunnel uh, a minute. So uh, we do have pumps working, and again, you know, we still need to see uh, what happens as a result at the end of the storm, see what uh, the damage is, and, and, uh, and then take it from there. Where and when are you going to pump it to? Uh, that, that's a great question. I'm not exactly sure where the water does go, but pumps do pump water out of that tunnel. I would imagine uh, after this whole thing recedes at some point, that would be kind of obvious, I guess. But uh, for now, you're going to sit and watch it and assess it, I take it? Uh, but we've got uh, personnel on site. We've got uh, pumps working. Uh, the same goes for uh, the flooding that we're seeing at our under river tubes uh, on the subways. Uh, we've got pumps working there as well. And again, it's a matter of just being able to ride this out and, and you know, uh, once it's safe to go in, assess the damage and see how long it's going to take uh, to make an necessary repairs. You touched on the subways. To what extent are subways being flooded right now, and how are you dealing with that? Sure, we, we're seeing flooding uh, pretty much throughout the uh, entire area with uh, most of the flooding we're seeing in lower Manhattan. Uh, we have shut power to all of our under-river tubes in lower Manhattan. So those are all the tubes that basically connect things from uh, Manhattan into Brooklyn. So power removed as a result of flooding underneath, uh, as a result of... Uh, water there, and then we're also seeing flooding um, pretty much at stations uh, south of Chamber Street. Um, so again, uh, working uh, with uh, uh, portable pumps to see if we can get water out of the system as quickly as possible. We uh, are also seeing substantial flooding out in the Rockaways. Uh, we have reports that we have water reaching the platform at the Rockaway Park Station out on the A-Line at uh, in the Rockaways. You know, all of these weather elements that have collided here really gives us the worst case scenario to deal with. Um, and as we continue to see this flooding near the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel, I just want to get a sense um, of, of the worst case scenario for the MTA. I mean, is this pretty much what you guys were expecting? Um, it, you know, it's pretty much what the reports were saying that we were going to get. So, you know, at, at this point, it really is difficult to predict the amount of time um, required to pump all this water out from, you know, flooded tunnels um, and adjoining stations as well. It really all depends on, you know, the height of the storm surge and, and how bad it ends up being and how rapidly it penetrates the protective barriers that we put in place. Um, but, you know, we're working on it. We have uh, three pump chains available as well that are also working these under river tubes. But, you know, again, this is, um, yeah, before we can even talk about uh, restoring signals and, and other equipment, we're talking about anywhere between um, 14 hours to four days, depending on how bad it is, just to pump water out of these tunnels. Wow. You said the Rockaways is where you've seen water reaching the platform level. What about uh, south of Chamber Street in Manhattan where you say there's water uh, getting into the subways? To what extent? Is it damaging equipment? I don't know if you've been able to assess that. How high is the water rising uh, above the tracks and into the station and so forth? Yeah, we, we don't have any reports yet, specifically how deep the water's gone in those particular.